All right, let's try this again then, shall we? Hello again, I am Jim Bob. Welcome back to F1 Manager 23. Uh, we are heading back to Melbourne uh, for the second day in a row, and hopefully the stream will actually survive tonight and we'll be able to get this race done. So yeah, a bit of a disaster last night. No idea what was going on with uh, my internet connection, but uh, the stream just kept breaking. And uh, after the third attempt to uh, get the race back underway, I'm just like, it's just not going to happen tonight. So um, we've uh, binned it off and we will be starting from scratch tonight. So... However, there is actually one other thing, um, a little bonus treat for you for tonight's stream. I did actually save our progress from where we got to uh, on the race last night. So with about 15, 20 laps to go-ish, I think, maybe 20 laps to go, uh, that is available there, as you can see, as a save file. So what we may well do tonight is just... Uh, load that up once we're done with tonight's race and just see how we could have done last night um a little a little extra on the stream for you tonight so we'll see how how we do first of all with our proper attempt we've got some catching up to do um let's uh reset the targets got a better idea of where our pace actually lies so we are going to go to in the top 10 but uh, we've got a chance to uh, to get through a little bit higher than that. We saw how close the field is last night, though. So I don't want to really ramp that up, only to fall flat on my face. Uh, both cars will get into Q3. Or should get into Q3. Uh, the finish position objective is one in the top 12. That's fine. We'll go for the fastest lap, as we did yesterday. And... Uh, once again, a quick double check just to make sure that uh, we've got the right parts on all cars, which I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, okay. Right, let's send them to Melbourne. It's wonderful to be back down under for the Australian Grand Prix. There may be several street circuits on the F1 calendar, but this unique lakeside layout is like none other. High-speed sections snake through the heart of Albert Park, just a few hundred meters from St Kilda's Beach. The Albert Park circuit is bursting with rapid corners and a long straight where drivers can push their speed to the limits. Good attention to medium speed downfalls will likely make beating this beast of a track just a little bit easier. Red Bull have outscored their rivals to be at the top of the constructors' table right now. But at just the third round of this year, the title could be anyone's. So stay with us for all the race weekend thrills. Okay then, right. Let's see if I can remember which setups we uh, selected last night. So we'll start with Ocon's car, I think. Hmm, which one did I go with? I think I went with an 8. 13. 6, 4. 3.35. And a 0.95 with Ocon, I think. Uh, let's go with... Uh, 32 laps of fuel. I'll try and do it in a single run. Uh, no parts to swap out because it is still early in the season. And with Norris, again, we're going to go 32 laps. Now, I remember I put him on a 12 and a half rear wing, which didn't work. Uh, so we'll put him on a 13 rear wing instead. Uh, which one was it? Hmm. Ba, 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 ba. I think it 
think it was... Thirteen, eight, two, two point nine, and a point two. I think that's the one I, t I selected uh, on the second run. Uh, so we'll go with those two setups. Uh, as I say, we're going to overfuel them than we would normally because we're going to be doing one continuous run. So we should gain a big chunk of uh, track knowledge uh, in this session by staying out that long. Uh, let's them to the grid. Welcome John, welcome Steve. Getting a little bit of deja vu in the chat. Okay. Yep, land okay. Alright, let's try and Are get through check? practice as quick as we can. Copy loud and clear. Let's see if uh, Esteban has uh, the legs on Norris again tonight. Ah, oui, on tire them. How long was my internet playing at four? I don't know. Um, I did a speed check before, yeah, about 15 minutes ago before the stream, and everything looked normal. Um, so, fingers crossed, we'll get through tonight on Skate. I also went back into the uh, stream settings and made sure that I put it back to 1080p 60 frames per second as well before we started, so back at the best available streaming that I can provide you. As that is the maximum resolution uh, PlayStation 5 will stream at. I need some feedback. All right, so we've got the wrong okay. setup on Esteban because that was 100% yesterday. So I chose the wrong one, but we'll keep them out. We'll be able to figure out what uh, which setup it is based on uh, how that was performing. We have got a crash. So there was a crash and a lot of debris. Uh, Gasly's had an accident. Who has he There's hit? A crash at turn 13. There is debris and track over there. Let's see if we can figure that out. There's Gas. Oh yeah, Gasly's uh, <laughs> missing a big chunk of uh, of his wing there. There's a Ferrari behind him. It's not that one. Where is Sites? There's Sites. Sites has, yeah, Sites has got some damage. Look, he's uh, missing a little bit of his uh, left front wing end plate and there's a big hole in his rear wing. So it looks like he had a coming together with Carlos. Oh, and we're way off with Norris as well. Yeah, now, has it randomised these, or that's very unusual? Normally, that doesn't happen unless I've just chosen the wrong setups, which is possible. Or, um, yeah, I mean, I would have imagined it would have been the same setups as uh, as we had last night. Maybe I've just chosen the wrong ones tonight. All right, we'll see when we get back to the garage, but yeah, we're going to go for just a single run. So, uh, whereas we would normally have them out for um, until about now, uh, we're going to keep them out for uh, a fair bit longer, as you can see. So we'll gain a really good amount of track knowledge. We'll get close to 50%, somewhere between 40 and 50% off this one run, as opposed to 40 for two runs. Thank you. 
uh, the fuel load does not make any difference on the setup. All right, there we go. So they're back in the garage and yeah, 40%. That's what we would normally get after two runs, which would be the entire session. So we saved a little bit of wear on the engines by doing it that way, but we've had less time to work on the actual setups. So let's see, which one should it be? Uh, all right, let's try 8.5, and uh, a 0.8. Uh, now it's definitely not going to work. It's not a big enough change. So let me go 8.13. Let's go for a 7.3. Uh, 8.5, 13, 7, 3, 3.15, and a 0.45. I probably should have written down which ones we actually did last night, but never mind. <laughs> I thought about it, but I, I just couldn't be bothered. Uh, that's not going to work. 7.5. We need something with a low value, so we're looking at... 7.5, 13, 7.3, 3.05, and a 0.5. That could work. So we'll give that one a try in the next session. Let's take a look at Norris. Oh, we're way off on this one. So this one is... Uh, okay. Uh, let's go with the one that we just tried on... Uh, Esteban's car, so we'll go 8.5, 13, 6, 4, 3.25, and a 0.8. That could work. Uh, just going to have one last play about with it. Let's go 8, 13, 6, 4, 3.35, and a 0.9. No, don't like that. I'm sure Lando had a 7.3 yesterday, but I don't see which one of those it could be. Three point two five point eight. That's pretty close. We'll go with that. Evening, Baron. You just heard they're remaking Stephen King's Christine. Hmm, that'd be interesting. I actually really enjoyed uh, the original movie. It was one of those. Um, I mean. They, there is an HD or a 4K version of, of the original movie, which I saw, I think, was it Disney Plus? Might have been Disney Plus that I saw it on, or maybe it was Amazon, back when I had a Prime trial, I can't remember. Um, but I, I did see uh, a 4K version of the original movie, which looked really good. Um, I don't know if that film needs a remake. It worries me um, that a remake is just not going to hold up. It's it's one of those weird things. Stephen King films don't generally tend to work. Um, the books are fantastic and the adaptations are usually pretty average to terrible. Uh, a couple of notable exceptions. Um, I mean, the original It um, was good as a movie if you can look past the horrendously cheesy acting from most of the main cast. You know, obviously... Um, Tim Curry was deliberately cheesy because that was, you know, um, that was Pennywise. Um, 
Man, I thought he was magnificent in that role. Uh, but the acting of the rest of the cast was eh, not great. <laughs> Um, in very, very large number of places. I didn't send them out. No, I'm not sending them out till practice two. That was uh, we did one long run in practice one tonight. Right, medium tires for this session. We're going to go 30 laps of fuel. Send them out. There we go. But yeah, most most of the time, the Stephen King stuff just doesn't seem to translate well onto the uh, onto the, the small screen and okay, the big so screen. Green light. Evening, Victor. We do have a little bit of Formula One news for you uh, today. Um, Alpha Tauri have confirmed that they have uh, chosen a new identity for next season. Um, they can't go into specifics, but they said that they are going to be moving closer to the Red Bull family, which makes me think that they're maybe going to become something like Red Bull Juniors or something along those lines. That, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, it might not be called Rebel Junior, but I think that's kind of the branding that they're probably going to go with. Um, and that'll be interesting to see who the actual title sponsor is. Uh, speaking of title sponsors, Cognizant will not be um, staying with Alpha, sorry, Aston Martin next season. So we'll have a new title sponsor for Aston next year. I don't know who that's going to be. It's not been announced. Just that Cognizant will not be staying on after, at the end of the season. And uh, a little bit more Formula One news for you. Former F1 Supremo Bernie Eccleston uh, has been found guilty of fraud, um, which I have to say doesn't surprise me. He's always given off Bond villain kind of vibes. Can I have an update, please? Um, and apparently, he hid over 600 million, um, uh, you know, overseas, and uh, has pled guilty. To, uh, to fraud charges, he was given an 18-month suspended sentence, suspended for two years. Uh, so once again, white rich man avoids jail time. But I mean, he is 92, so maybe that went into the decision as well. Uh, not sure how much he's going to have to pay back in uh, in taxes, but it's a lot. And we have not nailed it with Esteban again so I'm actually going to call them in at the end of this lap see if we can figure out where we've gone wrong still waiting on feedback from Norris switch on pit lane speed limiter Uh, okay, so we can extrapolate some interesting information from this. We know it has to be higher than 7.5 on the rear wing. Um, so I'm looking at an 8.13 setup. The 7.3 is probably right. So let me have a look at my 8.13s. So I've got a 3.05 and a 0.40. I could do it. So we'll try that. Update when you can. And 95% for Norris. So we're getting close Copy. with Lando. Let's call him in.
Keeping it at all. Keeping it at all. And then stop it in front of the garage. Right, how's the stream holding up for everyone tonight so far? Is it okay? Is it laggy? Do let me know. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the 3.35 and the 0.9. Actually, it's a 0.95. Yeah, I think that's the one. And we'll send them back out just to test these setups. Make sure that they are correct. to do. Same as I forgot to do it in the last session as well. I think, oh no, I did do it in the last session. There we go. You work right. Getting close. Ah, quit whining about your tyres. <laughs> so Esteban shuts up and Norris starts complaining about his. Ah, uh, 97. So we're very, very close. Minor tweak. We can uh, address that at the start of the next session. Uh, one final little bit of uh, uh, F1 news for you that I've seen so far that I think is noteworthy. Oli Behrman um, got behind the wheel of an F1 car um, this week for Ferrari. Uh, it's already been announced he will be um, running in FP1 at Abu Dhabi for Haas. And you've got to, f got to consider that Ferrari will put a little bit of pressure on Haas to maybe find him a seat next season or the season after. You know... Uh, I don't think they can next season. I think Hulkenberg and Magnussen have both been contractually locked in for next season. But, you know, maybe the season after, I wouldn't be at all surprised if, you know, uh, Behrman gets a promotion to Haas in the same way that um, Ferrari have pushed their uh, young drivers onto their customer teams in the past. So, obviously, Schumacher at Haas, uh, Charles Leclerc with Alfa Romeo. Uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see. But Behrman has looked very impressive this yeah, season. So, he'll be a, a contender for the title next season, I think. Right, final session. Let's go with soft tyres, we're going to go with 20 laps, but that's probably more than we need. Oh, excuse me. And that's going to have to be an 8.5. Yeah, we're going to go with that. We've 
already nailed Lando, so let's see, uh, 20 laps again, slightly more than we need, and we'll send them out. So, not as straightforward a practice session tonight as it was last night. Yeah, we, we nailed everything very quickly yesterday, but tonight it's been a little bit harder to get these setups nailed down. But we've done it already with uh, Norris's car, and we're very close with Ocon. Hopefully this will be 100% on this run. And we're not probably even going to complete the runs just as soon as we get to 100, we'll call them in. I wonder if qualifying is going to be quite as close tonight as it was last night. It was very tight on the grid last night. How's the pattern? Ooh, 100%. There we go. Good stuff. And we're pretty much ready to finish these guys on the, on track as well now. Job done. Nice, simple practice for us. It says 50% uh, there, but that's because it hasn't registered the change. And now they see driver prep goes up to 100 So we're just going to sit and run out the clock now for the rest of this session. And make it so easy for setup satisfaction. Uh, well, like I said, you know, I um, I always write down every time I get a 100% setup. I write it down in my little notebook, and then when I go to that race track, race track the next time, then I use one of my 100% startup uh, set you know setups for that track as a starting point. Sometimes I can I I pick the one that ends up being the right one. Other times I pick one that isn't in the you know you know it's a different one from my selection in the book that i need to get and i have to try and figure out which one of those it is by you know how my performance is stacking up and sometimes it's a setup that i don't even have in the book you know and i have to kind of just wing it and try and figure it out but having a strong starting point helps it really does Plus, understanding how the sliders interact with each other, what kind of distance you need to move them based on the size of the change. Uh, so, for example, um, seeing which sliders move and by how much uh, is important to figure out. So, for example, the rear wing has quite big changes on some things and very small changes on others. Uh, something like the um, the toe, for example, has a big change on the braking stability and a small change on cornering. And it's just understanding the dynamics between those 
you know what moves what and by how much so you can see what you can uh, which ones you can try moving to to keep the other ones where you roughly need them to be or how to counter uh, adapt to a movement so for example if I were to do that and I wanted to um, get the cornering back then I could counter correct that with the camber and that gets the cornering back to optimal while having that change in the oversteer that's kind of the understanding of how the sliders work plus if we use the front wing as an example um, if you're in uh, great and you're looking to get to optimal then you only need a change probably no more than that in terms of movement if you're looking at something that is good in white and you want to try and get to optimal you're looking about that so maybe that as a movement and if it's bad you're probably looking at something like that in terms of movement distance from optimal you know just looking at that top line so again it's just kind of playing around and and just getting used to how the uh, the sliders interact with it themselves it comes with comes with practice and let's say having a a strong starting point you know speeds the process up as well but i mean even if i didn't have the notebook and i just you know left it as as it was and would sent them out with no prep setup at all on the first run you know you still get enough feedback from the drivers to start whittling down those uh, those changes and you could probably figure out you know a 100 percent setup from that Maybe not all the time, but certainly a lot of the time. So there we go then. Practice is done. Our drivers are fully prepped. And it's time for quali. We're moving on now to the all-important qualifying session. These days, it's a much faster layout here at Albert Park and teams need to focus on getting high and medium speed cornering right to set a good qualifying time. There's been a bit of talk about Alex Albon, Karun. How are things looking for him today? We saw them set an impressive lap time in practice, so it's a great start as they move into qualifying. But as we all know, a good performance in practice doesn't guarantee success over the rest of the weekend. Fortunately for us, it's nearly time for them to hit the track. Righty ho. One lap run for uh, FP1 should, sorry, Q1 should be good enough. But we're probably going to have to do a minimum of two laps in the next session. We are going to be behind George on track with Norris. You can bring the tyre in. Okay. We need a good warm up on front brakes. Confirm. I think I took three laps of fuel out last night. I'm probably only going to take two laps out tonight. So we can spend less time fuel saving. And track is clear, track clear. 
will be charged by an off for last corner. All right, so Ocon has already started his lap. We're about to start now with Norris. And once again, we get to watch George disappear off into the distance. Just like last night. On purple, first man to set a time, and it's actually quicker than George in the first sector. That's a surprise. Once again, Ocon seems to be on it for quality. Uh, George goes faster in the middle sector. I think the Ferrari is the one that's gone purple in the first sector. Do the drivers still lose their helmets when changing teams? Yes, and that's down to sponsorships. And we are boxes left. And branding as well. A lot of the drivers have very heavily branded helmets this time around. So. Um, you can see Ocon is riding with the default McLaren helmet. Um, but if we take a look at George, you can see it's very much in um, covered in Mercedes sponsors. So CrowdStrike, Monster, uh, there'll be some others on there as well. Uh, if we take a look at Bottas, uh, his helmet has got some sponsors on there. Some of those are going to be personal sponsors, but some will be team sponsors. Uh, Giovinazzi has moved to a new team, so he's using a default Haas helmet. Uh, Sainz, again, you can see, got the Santander bit defender. Um, Ferrari branding on there. Stroll has got JCB, Aramco. Uh, Aston Martin design, yeah, so, yeah, it's not like the old days where they can just you know, keep the same helmet because they're, they're covered in sponsors and uh, designs are usually based around those sponsors. You know, all the colour scheme is based around the sponsor, the, the, the team. I mean, look at Seb. Um, Seb had um, a white helmet with the... Um, the German colours of um, the black, red, and yellow you know, in a in a line down part of his helmet, but that was all purple branded when um, Racing Point had uh, had the pink car with BWT. Uh, so yeah, As, you know, helmets just don't have the same importance, I don't think, or same. Um, identity that they did back in the day, which I think is a bit, bit of a shame. Uh, I'm looking at Stroll, there we go, Norris, he is looking safe, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't think Bottas is going to find enough time. Oh, Magnussen. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. And now I'm starting to worry. <laughs> As we drop to 14th, it's too late to go out now. Oh dear! Please get through. Please get through. He's only he's, he's only two tenths slower than Ocon, and yet he's in danger of being eliminated. Oh, this isn't looking good.
All right, so uh, Ricardo can't do it. It's down to Doohan and Magnussen. Uh, if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Magnussen, unfortunately. Magnussen has crossed the line to start his flying lap just in time. So we are going to ride on board and hope to hell that he gets held up with traffic. I don't even want to look at the sector splits to see whether he's up or, or not. He's going to catch traffic right here at the end of the lap. That might help us. Nice. Ah, lucky, lucky boy. The Alpha gets out of the way. That was doing, I think. Oh! <laughs> Eight thousandths of a second slower than Norris. Ooh, we skated through by the skin of our teeth there. Just six tenths separating, you know, pole to going out. Ah, wow. That's even tighter than it was last night. All right. Two laps are definitely needed. <laughs> I can't take that risk again. Ah, that was definitely squeaky bum time. Let's get lock on that on track first. Leave a little bit of gap because our car isn't the best in dirty air. And now we'll send out Norris. And once again, it's Norris who's struggling in the qualifying, just like it was last night. Warm up. Yeah, I'm going to ride on board with uh, Ocon for his first lap and then uh, probably Norris for the second lap because he's more likely to be the one who's at risk based on uh, last night and Q1 tonight. for Norris should be able to clear it comfortably with our comp is clear track clear there will be mode push for last corner mode push there it is that's Max I think yeah it's Max hopefully he's not going to hold up uh, Norris I want a strong first lap for both drivers to get the confidence up and then uh, hopefully they can then push on on the second lap and go even quicker. So this first run, I don't mind if the times are slow on this first run, as long as they get high confidence out of it. In fact, I would always prefer if they do have uh, a, a, a rough first run because then they can uh, improve on the second run and gain even more confidence for going better. Right, 
once again, I think the Ferrari is going faster than us. A knock on just under peak confidence, that's good. Uh, a 117.5. Another great final sector for Norris. 118.0, he's half a second slower, so Norris definitely needs to improve on his next lap. Is it now easy to replace your drivers with a test driver? What you mean for FP1? I mean, it's exactly the same as it was. You know, it just, it actually shows you the changes now. Um, there was a little bug where you would switch and it wouldn't change the headshot, but it would change everything else. So. If you went into a mini menu and came back out, it would immediately show that you have put that, that in. That's been patched, but essentially it works exactly the same. As it, did. it wasn't broken, it was just, as I say, a little weird glitch with the uh, changing of the driver headshot. See if Max gets too close. No, he's not. Track is not Ocon clear. started his flying lap, so Max will not get in the way of uh, slowing him down at the start of his lap. Uh, we've got more traffic coming out in front of us. That could be problematic. Track is clear. Track is clear. Start the lap. Catch him in the horrible place. Yeah, definite problem for Ocon in the first sector. What I was worried about, he's not improved. All right, let's see can Lando negotiate that traffic without any issue. Got to get through uh, Verstappen first. Ocon does improve in the middle. Norris is up in the first. There's Max moving out the way. I think we're going to catch these two at a bad place again. Improvement in the middle for Norris. Right, they're going to be winding up there to start their lap, so we should be okay here. Might even get a little slipstream benefit. Ocon improves his time. Norris goes P2. Nice little slipstream at the end of the lap there. Big so improvement the moment, for... For Norris, and we've got Ocon so into very, now. very high peak confidence, which means if we do need to do another lap, which I think we might, we'll be attacking that with a good, strong starting confidence for the lap. Love an F1. Screw up my lap, I'll screw up yours. So, this is not going to be a great time for Albon here. Or Schumacher, for that matter. And just to remind you, use the pit limiter in the pit lane. Uh, yeah, it's Albon's time very bad. Right, Norris is safe. Ocon is not.
I kind of have to go with the uh, extra set of tyres, I think. Just going to go one lap. is going out if we leave him in the garage. traffic on our uh, flying lap unfortunately by the look of it that can't be helped but we've got a chance to uh, gain a slipstream off the back of Giovinazzi here which could be very useful and uh, I would like to run in uh, helmet cam for this but it does normally look like a vacuum has gone off inside the helmet of uh, Ocon it's not too bad on this track with the lighting conditions but when the sun is shining yeah, it's very hard to see. <laughs> All right, improvement in the first sector. Still in peak confidence, so we're gaining an... Oops. A nice bonus to the stats there, as you can see. That is the chequered flag. Improvement in the middle sector. That means we're getting an even bigger bonus now. Move out the way, thank you very much. going to be a very clean lap. This could be faster than Norris. He's out! What? How? How, how did... Oh, God. What happened? He was up. He was up in all three sectors. He was looking quick. Tires is warm enough, I don't know. Ah, oh, disaster. Ocon is out. So, that is disappointing. Right, let's do one lap on these old tires to put a baseline time in, and then two laps on a set of brand new tires to uh, really challenge, see how high up the, uh, the grid we can go. Again, Alex Albon did not make it through, just like last night, but Porsche did make it through. We actually knocked Porsche out into 11th place last night. This time, he's knocked us out into 11th. There is a penalty for Gasly as well, so depending on how big that penalty is, because again, it just doesn't tell us. Uh, it's possible that we could out-qualify Gasly with Ocon once that penalty's been applied. It's too early to get uh, information onto his car condition. He's got to do a, lap, a complete lap first. 
So we'll check that after he's done his first run. See if he's got a brand new engine or something in there. It might be he's had to... Actually, no, it's too early in the season to have a replacement part, so it must be for a collision. Must be a three... Yeah, he hit... Um, he hit the Ferrari, didn't he, of, 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 uh, of Sainz in practice one. So it'll be a three-place penalty. So if Gasly finishes in ninth or tenth, we will jump him. Uh, if he finishes... Uh, actually, in eighth, we'll jump him. If he finishes uh, in seventh or higher, then he'll still be ahead of us. Gonna be quick. I was hoping that we were setting the very first time because that usually gives you a bigger confidence boost. We have gone faster in sights in the first sector. That's good. We might be close enough to get a slipstream off the back of him as well. So yeah, once again, we're going purple in the middle sector. Oh yeah, we're definitely close enough. Someone has beaten our first sector time, that's not surprising. We're on very old tyres. But we should get a nice, big boost of confidence for going on to provisional pole here. And there we go, we're into peak confidence. 169.9. So now we'll uh, trundle back to the garage. We'll uh, slap on a set of brand new soft tyres, load up two flying laps, and just see how quick we can actually go. Everyone's doing their runs on scrubs as you can see, but ours have done an extra bit of uh, bit of work. We've now done four flying laps on these tyres. So there should be pace to flying on brand new tyres, especially going in there with peak confidence, or very, very close to peak confidence. I'm really hoping for something special on the uh, second of the flying laps. tyres, two laps of fuel, and we'll send them out with about six minutes to go. feel about Bernie not going to jail yeah I talked about this uh, earlier in practice you know rich old white guy avoids prison time Keep warming our <coughs> but <laughs> Confirm. he's 92 so that probably has factored into it a little bit <laughs> if that was just your average Joe Schmo that would have been prison time. Yeah. 
18 months, suspended for two years. It's unlikely he's going to commit more fraud in the next two years. So. <laughs> it's, well, it's, I, I would say it's unlikely he's going to survive the next two years, but I mean, you never know. Odds are against him at that age. You've got to admire his consistency, though. He's always stuck with that horrendous pudding bowl and haircut. Track clear, track clear. And charge button For off. decades. Charge button <laughs> off for last corner. If he's stubborn enough to hang on to that haircut, he's stubborn enough to survive. He'll outlive all of us, unfortunately. Right. Can we see some improvement from Norris? We're back into the peak confidence. That's good. Pretty good stats. I have to say, I'm amazed he wasn't hiding more money off, off, you know, overseas than that. I thought, you know, 680 mil or whatever it was, that seems quite tame for Bernie. I would have expected it to be more. There probably is more, but it hasn't been discovered. You never know. So, did we go faster? Let's see if we did a 116.9. I don't think we did. No, we didn't. But we are in better shape for this next flying lap. Breaking has improved by an extra point. Corning's already maxed, so that's the matter. Got a chance to uh, improve on this next lap. We'll be starting the lap with higher confidence. Two cars in front of us that we can maybe get a toe off as well. Two cars are going to be battling for the lead. It's Max and Russell, I think, that are in front of us. Which for traffic? Uh, no, Max and Porsche. Yeah. So we've definitely got a chance to uh, improve here. Evening, Mr. Water. Are oh, we close enough to grab a slipstream? in the first sector and now our accuracy has gone up by an extra point as well this is looking good have I parked Dark Descent um, I have parked it for a while I may come back to it I don't know no improvement in the middle sector oh traffic gets out of the way didn't lift hopefully we didn't get held up there
in a strong final sector. And check it flag. And we jump Russell. We're on the second row. Nice. Uh, Gasly is actually we're on the front row because Gasly's got that five place, uh, three place penalty for hitting sights in FP1. So we're starting alongside Max. Ooh, interesting. That could be very tasty into the first turn. Um, I've got to think about what I do with tyres now. Do I start on the mediums like last night, go medium, soft, soft, or do I go soft, medium, soft? Try and guarantee position into turn one. It's less important because there's so many DRS straights that, you know, if we do hold the lead for the first two laps, we'll almost certainly lose it as soon as the DRS kicks in. Might be better to start on the mediums. I think I'm going to start Ocon on the soft, so see if we can move him up a couple of places because uh, he is down in 11th place. Didn't make it through tonight. Anyone still on a lap? Nope. That is your grid order then. Max from Norris. Then Russell, Sonoda, then Gasly. Then Sainz, Leclerc, Perez, Porsche and Giovinazzi. And how the hell Giovinazzi made it through and we didn't, I do not know. Time has almost come for our drivers to fight it out wheel to wheel. Race day has arrived. Albert Park often seems to set teammate against teammate. From Hill and Villeneuve dueling for the 1996 win, to Bottas beating fellow Mercedes driver and pole sitter Hamilton to the win in 2019. There he is, Lando Norris. But what do you think he's feeling ahead of this race, Karu? You know what, Crofty? They're performing well above what's been expected of them so far. All in all, not a bad place to be. In any case, Melbourne is ready and so are we. So strap yourselves in for the Australian Grand Prix. Okay. So let's have a look at strategies. So we're gonna go soft, medium, soft for Ocon. See if we can jump a couple of cars at the start. And with Ocon, we are going to go to three laps of fuel. I want his car to be nice and light off the line. Uh, he is going to have to do more fuel saving, but with the soft tyres on, he should be able to manage that relatively comfortably. Uh, we're going to go with battery deployment off the line as well. Uh, for Norris, we are going medium, soft, soft. like that there we go and we're just going to take two laps of fuel out yeah I want to be quick off the line so we don't get jumped by anyone from behind but we will settle down into doing a bit of fuel saving quite early on uh, so that we can be a bit more aggressive with Norris later in the race right let's send them to the grid the fans here in Melbourne are all set, as are the drivers, heading into 58 laps around Albert Park. And for Lando Norris, this is another chance to see what he can do in this car. A second place start for them today. They'll be aiming for a podium, but could they even sneak the win? And it looks like we're good to go. Get ready for the Australian Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. All right, look at that rocket start from Ocon there, and then immediately he had to slam the anchors on. We have been jumped off the line by Russell, but we have got a chance to come back at him. 
Ocon has made up a place. He's up to 10th. And then back down to 11th again. We're scrapping with Giovinazzi at the moment. And Norris completes the move. So I'm going to go into top up and see if we can hold a position like on. that. Yeah, fine. And let's see if we can get Ocon up a little bit. There's Giovinazzi, he's still there. We're going to top up now. Recharge on. Yeah. Sonoda's up to four. Great start from Sonoda. been passed by Giovinazzi again, not surprising because I've turned off the DRS, but I want to try and save some battery now so that we can attack as soon as uh, Keep doing it like this. The, uh, the DRS kicks in on the next lap. It's more important for us to burn Norris's battery so that we can hold second place behind Max ahead of uh, Russell. last of Norris's battery and now we're going to go aggressive with Ocon To get this move done quickly. Jovanazzi is on the cusp of being eliminated from DRS. Still got some battery by the look of it. Right, hopefully Gio, uh, Gio just lost the uh, DRS to Perez there. It's going to be tight. But if he has, we can absolutely rock it past him. No, he got it. Damn it. And we are not gaining. We want to manage our tyre budget. Copy that. Come on, Ocon. You were mighty yesterday. Right, here we go. Here's a run. No, that's going to be blocked. Right, let's harvest. Let's go into fuel save. Let's calm those tyres down. Copy that. Build the battery back up and try again. Just be careful with this tyre. Yeah, copy that. So, let's see. Other soft runners, Perez, Leclerc and Sonoda. And then we've got softs behind us in, uh, you know, in force. Gotta watch out for Albon. We you know he's gonna be quick. Just get a little bit closer to Max.
Try and pull his tyres down a bit as well. And there is Albon. We knew he was going to be sniffing around. Recharge on now is okay, please. Okay. And overtake is available. Oh, and he's got us. All right. Recharge on. Copy. We suggest a little bit more like Copy on. Charge on. Copy. Oh, three wide, never a good idea. And Jevalassi is going to get the DRS and get back past Albon. Time to push on these tyres. Stay tucked in behind Max. Not easy to overtake. Keep pushing. And now we've got Schumacher storming up onto the back of us. Yeah, He's got uh, some battery to burn as well by the look of it. And recharge on. Copy. So we absolutely have to clear Giovinazzi on this uh, main straight. Press, I will take. Copy. Albon should do. We need to as well. You can push. Because Copy. there's a gap now opening up to Perez. ready to try and force it to clean air if we need to. Uh, overtaking is very difficult. Ah, oh, come on. All right, well, we got past Albon, just. Raise his lung. We're going to keep pushing. we just got to try and break way would Ocon be better on a one stop no no um, he hasn't got the confidence to do that I mean his confidence is in the toilet at the moment really you know with his failure to get the overtakes done for whatever reason uh, we need him to start pushing and uh, start gaining positions and the easiest way to do that is to have high confidence. So uh, if we can box and go on to fresh tyres, get an undercut and attack and uh, gain places quickly, that's going to be the, the way to go, I think. Have to hold off Giovinazzi here. start making use of these softs there we go we're through right so let's calm them down we've closed up a bit to the back of Perez let's see if we can actually close it properly uh, Russell has jumped both us and the Snappen and now has the lead uh, we are pretty much full on Norris's battery so we can stop charging that just uh, trickle charge the last of it Let's 
Sonoma and Gasly looking very racy behind us. Good shape here, though. Yeah, we didn't get the DRS. Probably should have pushed the tyres a little bit harder. Hopefully we can hold Geo back again. Confidence is back to its starting level. We get a little boost for a successful defence. Now we're just about back in range of Perez here. Let's just push the tyres a little bit more just to make sure we can get in before the detection zone. And try and get in. Not sure if we made it. Try and go late on the brakes as well. Just missed it. Can use overtake. Probably. Hopefully we got it there though. And recharge on is okay, please. That. Yes, we did. That's Thank God for that. Right. Probably. We're back in to a safe, posi uh, safe position. Can we have a recharge on, please? Copy that. There's Max. Goes side by side with Russell. And sweep around the outside to try and retake the lead. Just George has got the inside line into the next breaking zone. And we'll get the DRS, so George should retake the position through here. Take a look at tyre wear. Uh, we've got a slight edge over Russell and the Snapper. That gives us some flexibility to maybe switch Norris to the one stop. Uh, but we do need to be aggressive with Esteban. You know, we've already pushed his tyre pretty hard. So, you know, a one stop isn't really going to be viable with him. But we are in a position where we're quick enough to charge the battery at, on full charge here behind Perez. And we're still seeing a very close field, just like last night, uh, around lap 11. This is where the stream broke for the first time last night, so I'm not you know, jinxing myself there. But look how close the field is. You know, the top 15 are just seven and a half seconds away from the lead. And then there's a little bit of a gap to the Brees with Magnussen, and then another little gap to Joe, and then the two Alpha, uh, Alpha Towers at the back. But it's a very compact, very tight field. We need that to start separating out a little bit for Ocon to really move up through the order. Some fuel saving. We need to start getting on that. But we know that this is a very economical engine when it comes to fuel saving, so we should be able to whittle that down pretty quickly. Porsche has actually dropped off the uh, the front group by a couple of seconds, so the Ferrari is being held up by him at the moment. This is allowing us to uh, charge up nicely but it does present a potential problem uh, going further forward. 
Sight has made the move to go around the outside of Porsche. They complete the move. And Porsche will come back at him again. But we need someone up front to pick up the, in this little group to pick up the pace to close it to the back of Charles Leclerc. And here comes Albon on us. And we're going to lose that place to Alex Albon. Let's go into recharge on top up. Copy. See if we can retake the position on the main straight. Keep concentration high. Might get a better slipstream than. Uh, nope. He had enough gap to pull in front of us. So we'll continue to fully charge the battery then. And recharge on now is okay, please. Copy. sitting comfortably in uh, third place and we can stop the fuel save now no lift off needed you are doing a good job oh yeah, oh that's going to be a red flag so there was a crash i think that could be a red flag is everyone all right that was a big, big crash. We're going to react as though the race is going to keep going, just in case. But this is going to play out nicely for Ocon. What about Lando? Can we... That's four seconds slower, but there'll be a little delay... I think that's five seconds slower. It's going to be a safety car at the moment. Actually, it might be okay with just a safety car. Might not get red flagged. I'm, I'm, ah, uh, if I stay out, I'm losing the safety car advantage. If I box and it red flags, I'm going to start way out of position on the restart. I think I have to gamble and go for uh, the pit stops. I am going to put um, Norris on the same strategy as Ocon, though. I just I, I feel more comfortable having a little bit more tyre wear to play about with. And the reason I've paused it to do all this is because if we get a red flag, I will lose the option to do this. So I'm getting it all done now before we get a you know a potential red flag that it locks out our ability to play about with controls. For that reason, I'm also going to do this just until we know exactly what's happening because this will be our restart position if it does red flag again. We'll lose the option to, to change these settings. Right. I uh, actually got to schedule the pit stops now, haven't I? So, uh, medium tyres, confirm. Pits, medium tyres confirm. Now there's been an incident and it looks to be the Mercedes. This happened right in front of us, just as we were changing the camera view back. Turn 10. 
Oh yeah, he lost it right on breaking, and then whoa! Oh, that's where they hit the wall. That will have knocked uh, their confidence, I'm sure. That could have been, uh, that could have been bad. And look at the team there; they all knew what that moment meant. Yeah, it's going to be a safety car. Okay, safety car deployed. Safety car deployed. Oh god, the whole field diving yeah, in. We can bring the tire in. Oh, we could lose a few positions here. It's a quick stop. Oh, come on. Come on. What? Seriously? Oh, man. <sighs> well, that didn't work. Ah, it's not too bad for Ocon. Actually, who has really lost that? Well, we've kind of lost that a little bit with Ocon because, you know, we've lost maybe one place. Um, it's worked out okay for Norris. Uh, let's now change these settings. And take care of the tyres. Yeah, cool. No need to push the tyres. Copy that. But yeah, that's it's frustrating when that happens. Um, there needs to be a better implementation of how they release cars when everyone's good. boxing like that. Yep. It's not that the team would release the car unsafely, um, it's just that they wouldn't be as cautious as the AI is. Martin Farrah. So what's everyone done with tyres? Russell's going hard tyres. I don't know if he can go to the end on hard tyres. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Oh, we could just... It will be slow. <laughs> But he could just about make a one-stop on hards work. Uh, same for Giovinazzi. Yeah, everything that takes him out of the picture, I'm happy with. Sites and Gasly have gone soft, so those will not last. They will have to stop again. Mediums will have to stop again, uh, I would imagine. So we've got two cars that could potentially go to the end, and then the rest is going to have to do another stop. If Max does stop again, he'll be going softs, just like us. He went mediums on the first stint, he's going mediums on this stint. You can see how quickly Ocon's fuel load is coming down and how much fuel we're banking with Norris in the process as well. This is where the Renault engine's fuel efficiency really comes into its own. And if you are just joining us, Farah, <laughs> there will be uh, a little bonus for you at the end of the stream tonight, where we'll be uh, finishing off last night's race, because I did save it with uh, five minutes laps to go, so we do have that option. We won't be switching back onto that, you know, whatever happens on this run now is our campaign continu you know, continues. Uh, but we'll have a what could have happened, a what could have been moment afterwards where we'll just complete off last night's race and see how things would have changed against what happened tonight.
Yeah, kind of like a race replay, a race moment. We'll be picking up with probably around 20 laps to go, I think. I forget exactly how far we got before I, you know, went ah in frustration and just said, that's it, screw it, we're not, we're not going to get this done tonight. <laughs> Now, we streamed a couple of race replays. Um, we did Suzuka. And we did Singapore. We're going to probably be doing Qatar tomorrow. Although I might ditch that and just do... Um, back here tomorrow seeing as we're now a day behind on our season schedule but I'm repeat now I don't know let me know in the comments would you rather we just continue with career tomorrow and uh, move on to back here for the sprint or uh, you want to do the guitar race replay race moment tomorrow night probably throw up a poll on the channel as well Guys, I think I haven't finished tightening, so I'm going to pause. We may restart again finish next Finish the uh, post.
and posted. Right, there we go. Poll is up on the community tab of the channel. So let me know uh, on that whether or not you would like me to um, continue with career mode tomorrow night or go for um, career mode. And charge button off, charge button off. Confirm. And push. Confirm. Time to push on these tires. Copy. And recharge off is okay. Copy. All right, here comes the restart. They are pushing battery on the restart. Okay, we need to do the same then. Overtake is available. Copy. In fact, we can go more aggressive on the tyres as well, thinking about it, because we've had those Tire laps behind the safety car. Do I think the Mercedes will come back much stronger next season? I don't know, but I hope so. I want there to be more fights for the championship than we've been this year. It's just been a complete walkover. really getting through because uh, Giovinazzi is holding everyone up on those hard tyres so we'll calm down we want to manage our tyre budget Copy. we do need to get past Russell quickly here Side by side. Woo, it's tight. Uh, overtaking is very difficult. That car is just so quick in a straight right, line compared to us. No, oh, he chopped across us. Come on, get him under braking. Under braking. Yes. Right, now we've just got to push like crazy to make sure we get back into DRS of Max before. He can sprint away. Now we can see what happened. Now the focus is on Lando Norris here. It's certainly inviting. And Lando says, well, thank you very much. Right, we are inside the one second. Excellent stuff. Now we're going to burn what little battery we've got. Well, that half a battery with Ocon. And see if we can uh, start picking off a couple of the cars in front. Hopefully they won't have any battery left. Let's calm the tyres back down. Take care of the tyres. We've yep. almost broken away from George Russell, so I'm hoping George is going to act like a uh, uh, a cork in the bottle for the rest of the grid behind him.
On the brakes. No. Just be careful with this tyre. Copy. And we have got a one second gap to Russell. On, recharge on. Copy that. Which is nice. Almost broken away from Schumacher. We could be going quicker than this, but Giovinazzi is uh, proving to be a bit of a stumbling block. The Ferraris have got past him. Perez has now got a gap to his teammate. He's got to try and catch him up. Russell's back in the DRS again. Start harvesting battery. And recharge on. We go a bit more aggressive through this final okay, sector. See if we can maybe drop yeah. George on the main straight. I think we can. The car is definitely better in acceleration than we are. Oh, got a yellow flag. I think that's Sites, yeah, Sites ran wide. Here we are then, looking at turn 12. Oh, we've seen a few go off the track there. Perhaps a little lapse in concentration, maybe. So that brings the Ferraris back together, but unfortunately it also closes up, or gives uh, Giovinazzi a chance to maybe stay in the train. Stroll's got past him now. And now we have dropped Russell. Excellent. So now we can go back into standards and we can try and harvest. And we need to take care of these tires. Yeah, go for him. And charge button on. Confirm. Take it easy there. Confirm. Albon and Giovinazzi stuck in front of us with Schumacher's Williams right behind us so not much has changed not easy to overtake continue like this and Sonoda's having a go at George And he's got him. Although George has got the DRS, so George will come back at him. That might get him back into DRS, actually. Uh, looks like we have got ourselves in a position to have a crack. Press, I would take. Copy An that. Ocon here. An Ocon. Uh, Giovinazzi. He just put blocks us in the uh, braking zone. Let the tyres come back to you. Okay. He is out of DRS range though, so we've got a real chance of getting him in this next zone. We're going to go full attack on the tyres and try and Stay punch close. through. Yeah, Russell is back in DRS. I thought that might be the case. straight to DRS will do that for you. You can push. Cool. Uh. Recharge on. Yeah, push. All right. Hopefully we can get Giovinazzi here. And that will catapult us onto the back of Perez. If we can't get him here, there's something seriously wrong with Ocon. He was looking so good last night and tonight just not been doing it. There we go. Nice straightforward move. Going to top up. And we can have recharge on, please. And Giovinazzi yeah, does just edge across and block 
Albon. That's excellent. That's what we wanted. No need to push the tyres. Copy that. Leclerc has now got past George Russell, so Red Bull first and third now. Sonoda's dropped back down to fifth. Max is going to start to sprint. So we're going to uh, push a little bit more as well. So increase pushing the status. Yeah, all good. All right, now Ocon is starting to make some moves. This will put him into peak confidence. There we go. Good stuff. If we made it, I don't think we. There we go. Norris gets the move done on Max now we around the outside. That was a brave move. And the McLaren there with a beautiful maneuver. And fortunately, it does mean we have just given Max DRS on this. Got him blocked in turn one. Oops. My stream feed is playing up on my mobile. Please tell me everyone's okay. Can you hear me? Still there? Stream is stuttering. Yeah, it's looking a bit ropey on my phone. I wasn't sure if it was my phone or the image. And now I don't know if this is YouTube or um, or my internet. Oh, damn it! Contact, double contact. And because we didn't go softs, we have to go softs or hards. Uh, we're going to have to switch to this strategy. Uh, well, maybe. Can we possibly make the softs last? If we look after them, maybe. the damage tires ah oh, no that's it he's out terminal suspension and major chassis damage you know so that is it for Lando he is out uh, so Ocon what can we do with Ocon that's a shame he was doing so well uh, do I gamble with a safety car now if I box now again I'm in the same boat these tyres are not going to last without some serious tyre management they'll be grippy but they'll be slow we update the strategy to that and then let's see if we were to go a bit more aggressive on mediums, sorry, on hards, that 
about nine seconds slower. So this is this is the, the quandary that we find ourselves in. There's a word for you, Farrah, quandary. Um, if I were to push those tires like that to the end, that's still slower than soft tires on the absolute slowest setting. Hmm. Oh no, wait, Ocon has got mediums, hasn't he? Ocon's got another set of medium tyres. Or oh, has he? Let me check. Yeah, I've got a brand new set of mediums for Ocon. So we will go onto that strategy. I don't know why it's not showing me a brand new set of soft, uh, mediums there. It's only showing me the, the same ones that I'm already using. This is a weird bug that keeps playing up from time to time. Uh, but we have got that extra set of mediums. So we are absolutely going to box Esteban. Take advantage of the safety car. There's a yellow flag now. Here we are then at the 11th corner. But there corner. was double contact. There was contact going into the corner and then contact is. coming out of the corner as well. The There's the first contact. The There's the second. Inevitable. We get a penalty for the first yes, contact. Please don't say it's going to double penalise us. And give us a penalty sport. for the second contact as well. And for the crew watching on in the garage, that really must have been a hard one to take. the only ones who are boxing. Let's see if we're going to get uh, screwed over in the pits again. This is ridiculous. God damn it. That is such a, yeah, I know. It's, I don't know what's causing it. And there's nothing I can do to fix it either, unfortunately. settings for tomorrow, we, whatever we do tomorrow, we'll drop the stream settings down to 720p. Uh, I'm also going to do a big reboot of the router as well tomorrow. Hopefully it's just a temporary little blip and things will clear up. Uh, two nights in a row where it's, you know, it's all been fine, and then it's suddenly starting to get a bit wonky. So we've definitely lost out, but we're not the only ones. Um, everyone in front of us has gone on to hard tyres, so we have potentially got an advantage here. Again, it's not showing me the right tyres, and I don't know why. Let me see. Can I... There we go. Now it'll show me the right tyres.
So down in 12th place. Ricardo, fortunately I can't, without ending the stream. Uh, I think my internet is playing up. So I have no way of... Alright, I'm going to end the stream. I'm going to restart it once I've uh, rebooted my uh, my router and hopefully we'll be back up in about 10 minutes. Hopefully. Uh, I'll see you in, uh, in 10 minutes, I hope.